Hello my brother and sister welcome once again in this video we're going to learn a new topic uh, that's called types of lines so all the types of lines that we will see in geometry that we'll be learning types of line well in uh, geometry we, we see a lot of uh, different different kinds of lines you know so that that we're going to learn one by one over here so first kind of line we'll, we'll watch in geometry is the curve line and I think I don't have to tell you about this uh, more curve line is something you know which is not straight this is a curve line something like this this is a curve line another line uh, if you just this is a curve line which is not a straight that's called curve line and the second type of line that we have to learn is a straight line that we have learned as a line segment and the uh, uh, line and the rays these all are straight lines something like this these all are straight lines let me draw one more here with red color right so this is another example of line so we can give some na uh, some some uh, names also to this so let me give here suppose this is a point and this is b point so this is a b line this is a b line here let me give this is c this is d this point is d so this is c d line and here also let me give a point b point so i can say a b is a curve line here and if i will say here suppose this is p and this is q then I will say PQ is a curve line right and here AB is a straight line CD is a straight line and after learning straight line I will be learning in double system right now double system of lining uh, in this uh, first one I want to talk is intersecting line if there are two lines I mean to say you have got two lines right so what are the cases that you will get these two lines in uh, how many uh, first line this is second line so what are the conditions of these two lines that we'll be learning here first it may intersect to each other intersecting means something like this suppose this is uh, our first line uh, let me write this is our suppose first line and uh, I'm drawing now second line something like this so now see this first line and second line are intersecting to each other at the point at this point so it may be intersecting whenever we get two lines it may be intersecting to each other or if it is not intersecting then it may be uh, another condition that I'm going to write here that is perpendicular to each other perpendicular to each other perpendicular to each other that is called perpendicular lines and uh, how it is suppose uh, this is my suppose this is my first line one and uh, another line I'm writing uh, right this is my second line right and let me give it uh, suppose it is something two. and now see first line and second line is intersecting in a such a way in a such a way that it is forming you know exactly here 90 degree so these one and two lines will be called perpendicular lines to each other or one is perpendicular to two or you can say two is perpendicular to one right when they are intersecting but something uh, making 90 degree it's a special case of intersecting intersecting line but with a special right that is uh, a perpendicular line so here simple right it's something uh, let, let me draw one more here suppose this is my one line uh, it will be something like this suppose uh, this is uh, I'm giving some name to this suppose this is L line another line I'm giving I'm writing right with this. yeah now this is perpendicular to each other and here suppose this is M line so here both are making 90 degree so here L line is perpendicular to M or we can say M line is perpendicular to N simply whenever two lines intersect each other forming 90 degree then those lines are called perpendicular line these lines are called perpendicular lines these and this is a perpendicular lines these and this is a perpendicular lines after learning perpendicular lines next type of line we're going to learn I will not tell the name I will show you suppose this is a pretty straight line this is my first line let me give the name to this uh, suppose here somewhere it is a and it is b and uh, now suppose it is another line and uh, let me give the name to this line suppose this is p and this is q these both lines you know are making 180 degree you know this is uh, making 180 degree of course and you know it is in such a way that it, it, it the distance between these two right this this distance between these two lines right this distance this distance is always constant constant everywhere suppose this is D distance between these two and here will be also the same distance here also will be the D 
here also will be the D this is also the D means when the distance between the two lines is fixed right if the distance between two lines is fixed then such lines is called parallel lines so these kinds of lines is called parallel lines so whenever we get two lines and both are uh, parallels it means they have the fixed distance between them or you can say if the distance between two lines is always constant then both lines are parallel here now I want to show you some real life examples of the parallel lines see here the first uh, first it is a railway line this railway line you know these are the two track this 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 is made up of metal you know these two metals are you know real examples of the uh, parallel lines these two have fixed distance between them you know these two are separated with a fixed distance they have fixed distance and uh, if you just elongate this line and this line you'll be elongating elongating and elongating it will never end you know never it will uh, meet to each other so that's why these two lines uh, are called parallel lines and same example here in the table also if you just elongate this line just imagine this uh, these two words the lines and if you just elongate these two lines you'll be elongating elongating and elongating never they will meet each other May why they will not meet each other uh, meet to each other because this 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 have the fixed distance every time they have fixed distance this is a this distance is constant that is why they will never meet and that's why they are called parallel lines here in this book also this side and this side if you just elongate it you know it will be elongating 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 just you can increase as much as you want but they will never meet to each other because there is a fixed distance between these two lines every time this distance is constant right that is why these are called uh, parallel lines in the same way from this side also you can increase if you want so these are parallel lines I hope you understand the concepts of parallel lines uh, we'll be talking about this parallel lines in detail we'll be learning because it is a big chapter about the parallel lines in geometry after this we wanna go for the another types of the line coincident line coincident line right so what is coincident line let me talk here uh, suppose I do have a uh, I have a line something like this well and uh, let me give the name to this line suppose this is a point and this is B point so I have a line a B now and I have one more line you know, which is something like this C which is going over this line you no know, it, it moves above this line right so something let me give the name to this a and this point is B oh, no not a and B this is uh, C suppose and this is D right and you know in this figure there was a AB line uh, passing through some uh, some you can say some way but in the same way the CD line is also going means initially this was the path of the AB line right but with the same path CD line is also going means both are coincident right they are comments together you know comments together together means together they are traveling in a s in, in the same line that's why they are this AB line here line here AB and line CD this CD this AB and CD lines are called coincident line co incident line right so whenever there is a line something like this and another some some line and another line is passing through the same same line right same line then these two lines this are uh, I think like this right some blue, blue lines and this yellow lines both lines are called now coincident line so I think you understand one by one uh, let me uh, tell you once again let me revise it means two conditions uh, uh, sorry all the conditions one it may be uh, intersecting to each other right these are called intersecting line or they may be perpendicular line if there is 90 degree then they are perpendicular lines or they may be parallel lines if they are never meeting to each other means that this distance is constant then they are parallel lines or the uh, or the last one is constant line suppose there is a line and one more line is moving through the same path over it right then that th this both lines are called uh, constant line so these were the types of line that uh, you know generally we have to learn this kinds of line in geometry so after learning this all uh, we are now ready to learn 
uh, squares and the rectangle these all because we have learned the parallel lines what is parallel line and in detail we have to learn this parallel lines we'll be learning this ladder okay